Good morning, folks. We've got weather records, volcano climate science, fires, stars, and the last solar micronova event evidence piles even higher. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last day still tremendously quiet. That coronal hole is slinking towards center disk from the left. The northern extension is behind it. And around the time this first one starts facing Earth, the seismicity should jump. Read our papers and explanations of that at quakewatch.net. While we wait, there are no sunspots and there's little to discuss in the solar wind. Small variations and a few cosmic ray errors on the chart, but generally calm telemetry with magnetometers in space and on the ground, confirming that things are all quiet. There is another record-breaking heat wave hitting Europe. This contrasts the record cold that continues falling in the USA, both temperature extremes caused by those jet wobbles we mentioned yesterday. And good news is that the monsoon is finally giving in in India. That is the west side and east sides of the continent, including Chennai, where the government stopped a million death drought with water trucks. Hopefully the flooding aspect takes it easy on them here towards the end of the season. Let's go to California. Full ground motion tracking has been made and from peak to trough of deviation was about a full meter. The before and after contrast is nothing short of wicked as it illuminates the torque put on the ground during the first seven-point earthquake they've had in decades. Up next, veers and the fire tracking across the world. Africa, Asia, South America really put sharp contrast on the fires in the northwestern continent and Europe. Helps explain also the atrocious air quality disparity on Earth, North versus South. By the way, as with all these stories, they are linked below the video in the description box. And now we're getting to the fun parts. This star's disappearing act, apparently, is on a perfect pattern, allowing them to diagnose the eclipsing binary as the fastest such eclipsing binary ever found. In fact, they say that the orbital dynamics of the pair are so extreme, they may even be able to create what they are detecting as gravitational waves, not to be confused with gravity waves in the atmosphere. Up next, we're looking at volcanoes, and the title of this article pretty much tells you most of its story, so let's bring in other charts and check out the current and past conditions. There's no question that we have fallen down now into very low volcanic aerosols. Even the ones we've had this year aren't going to budge these charts much. The lack of high-altitude albedo is a huge factor in the global temperatures right now, and when we look back even further, you see that since the medieval warming period, left side of the chart, that previous low volcanic aerosols moment, we then endured the mini ice age around halfway to 75% across the chart when the volcanoes kicked back in, and then, when did global warming begin again? Fascinating. We're moving on to magnetars, and while I do not think this hypothesis will come out as correct for fast radio bursts, the magnetar burst is of critical importance to understand because whether the major solar flash is a super flare or micronova, the shockwave could compress our planetary L-shells to arc hit the surface, just like on a magnetar. The reason this doesn't happen on Earth regularly is because the L-shells ride high and are too low of energy, but the shock would both juice and compress them, the two things required. And that brings us to our top story. Microtectites, glass beads, of the extraterrestrial origin. They say that these have been long overlooked in Florida shell beds and likely exist across a vast portion of these sites along the coast. They have not done the fission track analysis and nothing suggests that they plan to do so, but they should. Because in the Micronova event, the shell release heavy slow portion is the silicate combination layer that expands and cools. There is evidence for this event occurring on the moon, on Earth, and even on Mars. The isotopes suggest it had to be of nova strength power, and this topic, combined with the magnetic reversal, is indeed one of the three infomentary movies coming out next month, right here. Stick around, subscribe, and folks, we're going to hit 125 million views at some point in about the next 24 hours. Would love it if someone could get a screenshot of the channel page when that happens, please. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.